A state government minister has made public his support to kill crocodiles that pose a threat to humans. David Crisofulli is furious at critics of tough new measures to remove problem salties from local waterways. A four and a half metre croc called Bully is one of 23 salties pulled from waterways across the state this year. It's the largest number since 2002. <laughs> Every time you remove a crop, the latte set in Brisbane, led by people like this, go off their brains. They listen to people like this goose. They listen to the crazy environmentalist. An angry David Crisofulli was referring to University of Queensland croc researcher Dr Craig Franklin. The minister called a snap press conference to hit back at the professor's comments, published in News Limited Papers today, criticising the government's tough new crocodile management measures. People voted with their feet. For an academic sitting in an ivory tower in Brisbane to say that he's not happy with the policy, frankly, his opinion should count for a big fat zilch. Dr Franklin has been making his opposition public for months. Clean is widespread removal of, of animals. Uh, it's indiscriminate and you remove every animal possible. And there's, there's one problem with that and that it can also lead to a false sense of security that suddenly it's safe to go swimming. His views are supported by members of the North Queensland Crocodile Protection Society, which includes croc handlers. More people die from jellyfish than crocodiles every year in Australia. If you're asking me whether or not um, the death of a crocodile is something I would shed tears over, if it meant protecting a child, those tears would be of the crocodile variety. Trent Evans, 7 News. Now, Australia's top end is famous for many reasons. One of them is the crocs. But now authorities say that the big salties are scaring tourists away. Now, West Australian wildlife authorities have set crocodile traps around Broome. They want every croc out of the water before someone gets hurt. Well, several people have been hurt already. Rangers say they're flat out handling an increase in croc sightings, including a 3.5 metre salty just last week. The crop crackdown in Broome follows a similar policy in North Queensland. The state government there has put out a tender for croc hunters to remove all crops from the Cairns region. Colin Riddell from the Animal Coalition joins us now from Cairns. It's good to talk to you. Good morning to you, Colin. Tell us about the program in North Queensland and how many morning, crops have been caught so far? Uh, well, the latest reports are that 16 crocodiles have been caught in the Cairns area. Um, Bob Irwin and I are aghast because uh, the children now in the local schools are believing that all the waterways around Cairns are going to be free of crocodiles. Yes. So we're now expecting an attack because people now are going to get uh, pretty blasé around the waterways. Quite, yeah, I mean, there's that, the, the full sense of security. Um, but from a, um, you know, a, a conservation point of view, will this harm crocs at all or is it OK, do you think? No, we'll let the apex predator in the water, so you remove them yep. and uh, something else will just move into its place. Mm. I spoke to Bob Irwin last night and he said that uh, a large crocodile over two metres will dominate an area and if you remove that crocodile, another crocodile will move into that area. So yep. you will really have to kill every crocodile from, from Cooktown down to Townsville, which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And I see now that they, they want to do the same thing over in Broome. It will give the tourists and the locals a false sense of security. And, and the, the biggest danger is a crocodile can feel your vibrations from about, you know, up to probably 50 feet away. And he will surface under the water, in green or dark water, and you won't even see him, but he can see you clearly with the third eyelid. Yeah. So, and, and they're a, an opportunistic feeder. They're not actually a killer. They don't hunt man. They, they see you as a cow or a pig or anything else. Mm. Yeah. Colin, are things worse in terms of uh, the crop numbers now than they have been previously? Do you think that something does need to be done, that we have too many of them? Well, Bob Irwin and I agreed uh, when this government was formed in Queensland that any crocodile around a boat ramp or a beach that was a menace to anybody should be removed. And some would end up as, as uh, you know, in a croc farm as handbags, but... Uh, they've just changed the law now, and they're tendering for seven local operators to to take every crocodile from the egg to any size. So I've been here nine years now, and I've never seen a crocodile in a while. Yeah. So I don't think there's been an increase in them. It's just that the hysteria that's been whipped up in Cairns um, by a few locals and a local old shock jock, and, and now over in Western Australia, people are looking everywhere for a crocodile. Well, they should be looking anyway, because... You, know, you live down there in New South Wales, you look for funnel webs when you're gardening, you look for great whites over in Western Australia when you're swimming on un mm. uncontrolled beaches, you look for uh, 
glimmering octopus is yeah. in Victoria, the rock yeah. pools. You know, we've got to be aware that these animals you know, are a danger. Yeah. yeah. All right, Cole, listen, thanks very much for joining us this morning. It does sound like a bit of a futile exercise. Thanks for scaring off the tourists. I mean, it crops attract tourists, don't they? Well, yeah, and you, I mean, the message you're saying is just keep out of the, keep out of the waterways. Don't, yeah. don't, don't go anywhere near them. The croc down is a crocker. It's a croc of... Yeah, yeah. Of, of fish. Of fish, exactly. It is your environment, but you're probably going to have to fight for it.